So the average person who reads a book can read a book two, three, four, five hours, and they and you think about it, most people don't read a book four hours in a in a row. Mm. They take it in chunks. So a film to me has to have something where if you're going to do a series, like a trilogy or something, you've got yeah. to do it. Like every one of them films is an hour and a half. And yeah, I think yeah, that, yeah. that's why the first Matrix yeah. worked, because it was an hour and a half. The other yeah. two Matrixes were two and a half hours each. That's why people didn't like them. because they're uh, too long. Too You're absolutely right. And the thing is, if you keep it to an hour and a half, you've got all your best bits in there. That is all your best bits. It's, so, it's going to be so, so much Matrix, better. Where they made a really, why Matrix, the first one, did so well was because they also did a series called Animatrix, which was animate. So if you wanted that, to yeah. the background more of the characters, that was what led the, the people to go, oh, I want to know a bit more about that. Yeah. Do yeah. that. So me, to me, a film has to be a film. If you want to do a little animation TV series or something like that, do that to back up the characterizations. And that, to me, is where Marvel have made a massive mistake with Disney, because if people know the comics, they want them to be quite faithful to the comics. You know what comic that new nerds are? They're quite, yeah, yeah, quite, you know, ADHD intrinsic. They want things to be like precise, and you can't sometimes. It doesn't. You can't always translate comic to film. But to mm. me, if you do a good film, hour and a half, gets to the point, and then if you wanted to do that, develop little stories of them characters, and they've done it well with Wolverine, so it can be done. So yeah, to me, yeah. Spin-offs. And I don't know why they don't plan it like that, because that's how comic books work. 